Hey guys, thank you for checking out another episode of Exoverse TV, and thank you to Derek and Jay of the Retox Podcast for joining me this week. Uh, Danny, we missed you. Hopefully we'll see you next week and we'll do a big catch-up episode. But for now, uh, make sure you follow the Retox Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. You can also subscribe to their show right now on the Podomatic app. Uh, last week, I was able to let you know that you could finally find this show on iTunes, and I'm happy to report this week that you can now subscribe to Exoverse TV on Spotify and tune in radio. So I just wanted to fire those details off to you real quick. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Oops. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, hey, Andrew here. Uh, welcome to Exoverse TV. Um, uh, man, I think this is going to end up being like a pretty sleepy start to an episode because you said you took a little mini nap. Is that what you said? Yeah. A little five minute nap. Yeah, I did a little five minute. Yeah. I, I, when, if you hadn't texted me back, like as instantly as you did. That's why I texted you. Is I w- I knew I was at risk of just passing out in, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. in the bed. I was like, oh my god, it's been a, it's been a fucking week, man. It's, it's yeah. been a week. And I've done <laughs> I've done two overnight stays. Like I've done like two. What was it? I did Thursday. No, no, because today's Friday. So I did yeah. Wednesday into Thursday. I did oh, a, a overnight yeah. watching a teen, and it was like from fucking twelve to eight, and then I worked. All day Thursday till four o'clock when Nick yeah. got off work. Oh damn! Yeah. But uh, yeah. but now we're here. We're ready yep. To go. Yes. Yeah. So I've got uh, Derek. With a false start. I like it. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> Take it a sip. You can't take a sip around here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I got Derek and Jay with me tonight. Uh, Hello. What's up? Sadly, Danny could not be with us tonight. Yeah. But uh, prior engagement. Yes, but that that is okay. Uh, we should be able to see him. Yeah. Long as it, long as it plays out well for him, then it's worth yeah. him he, he, missing. The he day. sends yeah. uh, his love and uh, not too much of it, though. Yes, no, I understand. He, no, no, he's reserving that for uh, tonight's activities. Yes, hopefully. no, and we're all proud of him. Yeah. We are. Well, <laughs> he's going to be really upset about this. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Danny. Jay, how do you feel? Uh-huh. <laughs> it was cool. Um, hey, so okay, so uh. Episode two. Yes, it happened. Yes, everybody um, Everybody did get to see it here. Yes. Uh, it was pretty sad. Uh, actually, I kind of felt like every single emotion yeah. throughout, yeah. throughout that entire episode. It was... And uh, pretty much simultane- simultaneously. It's just been an emotional week, man. You, yeah. got, you got a lot of things going on in this... Game of Thrones started it off with yeah. Sundays. Like, hey, I hope you don't want to have a good work week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you plan on being happy as you all week? No. Oh, no. my God. You're going to be ah. emo- emotionally fucking torn. Yeah. Like, all, every which way. So before, like, breaking down, uh, you know, individual scenes or uh, sequences, like, what did you guys, uh, did it kind of meet expectations like what you guys the direction you thought this episode was going to go did you think it was you were already going to see some of the battle in this episode did it end the way that you expected it to i didn't think we were going to see the battle only because of danny's prediction of the ending scene yeah um which we'll get to but that made me believe yeah you're right we're gonna we're gonna save it Mm -hmm. the battle will be the whole third episode yeah and so um I thought from the get go we we're going like as soon as we sh- we started um, with Jamie and everything we're, we're we're moving forward and I, I it was there was no more hellos and if, well I mean technically there were more hellos but at the same time the hellos were more hey yeah not so nice oh. hello yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you yeah. Yeah. not very cordial yeah, yeah. <laughs> motherfucker you got balls. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so you're just going to pull up on us? Right. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. It's cool. We'll oh, talk we, about this. We, we just yeah. let everyone with a hood come in? Yeah. Is that what we do here? Whenever we stopped a little girl. We stopped a little girl last season, but we're going to let the hooded man come in with one hand. Yeah, we Suspicious. spent four minutes harassing her. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, no. It's. Uh, I thought we starting from this se- uh, the beginning of this episode, we were just, we're, we're going. Yeah. It's story time. We it, the last one, the first episode was the catch up. How you guys doing? You know, glad to be here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? um, and this one was just like, all right, so on to business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I uh, I have referred to it myself as like the calm before the storm, 
But actually thinking about it, a lot of shit happened. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was very... It was, it was very, like, chill, but it was just, like, a lot of... Just a lot of shit went down, you know, and it didn't it didn't take long to get there, but it was I don't I don't know just um, I don't know I mean, like you say you had a, a, a broad range of emotions. I don't know if I felt a lot of emotions because once again I just turned shit off and I just go ah TV I yeah. go watch now now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's that's a that's a great aspect. I wish I can do that for most things. Most things I'm like, wow, I can't believe set design did this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Uh, but yeah. see, that's the thing that you went. But see, that's the thing. That's your. Yeah. That's your your, your bag. I'm just like, like, man, for as good as an actor as this person is, they really didn't nail that line. You know that. Yeah. My head goes way too. Really? Like, forgive them. Forgive them and Does move suck on. you out Let's of go. the uh, scene uh, for. No, yeah, uh, in a sense, I guess it does when I because I'm noticing it, but because with my 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 background, this is what I love about it. Yeah. It's all. It's not just like the imaginary aspect of it, but like the work. And to clarify, your background theater, theater film, to. yeah, yeah, yeah. like you have a, a bit of an acting background, but yeah, um, a lot about a little bit, a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's I appreciate the work being put forth as well, not just the story. The, like a lot of people, are like okay, let's let's just see the story, and then I'll talk about the work before. Like I. I watch it. I, I do it all at once. I do. I go through all at once. And yes, I guess in some senses it kind of takes away. But at the same time, I also appreciate all the effort being put forth. Yeah. Um, I'd be like, oh man, he's fucking killing it in the scene right now. Mm. Fucking killing it. Or, or I was like, oh that that could have been better. Uh, but I can see why or whatever the time or whatever the scene calls for. Oh yeah, whatever. Blah blah yeah. blah. But yeah, I, I yeah I'm, I, I I analyze. Yeah, immediately everything. Yeah, and me, I just sit back and I enjoy it. Yeah, and so I was able to just I, as it was everything. I'm able to just sit back and enjoy, you know, what it is. I can either enjoy it or I thoroughly fucking yeah. hate it, but on a just a very, yeah. s- very surface level. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. And I think with in this episode, it was, you know, I've seen people online kind of talking and, and not giving out spoilers, but they were just kind of like, eh. Like, let's just get to the let's get to the action, you know. A lot of people don't like dialogue and and story building, but this it's episode necessary. It's, necessary. it's built so much, and then it's just so much like, just so much. Uh, I don't know, maybe like deeper with the characters, and yeah. you know, it's like, well, what are, what are you supposed to do? You know, yeah. Everybody knows what's what's happening tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. anybody who knows what's coming seems to think. Well, was saying online that it was maybe even one of the best episodes mm-hmm. in the last couple of years right. rather than people yeah I didn't see too many people being sort of like impatient with it mm-hmm. or, or fed up with it um in like the die hard like the the super fan circles well, yeah, you know? a lot of the things we were waiting for just took place yeah yeah you know yeah and uh, I I, I, I believe this about Danny I don't know 100% I know he's not here to speak for himself on this but um one thing I, I realize about Danny is like when I watch it, like you, you, you should often just accept it. Yeah, I, I appreciate the effort behind the scenes of everything going on. Danny is literally taking for what it is right in the moment, but also thinking what was the purpose of that line? Why did they do that? Where are we going with it? And he starts plotting ahead. Mm-hmm. He starts mm-hmm. trying to see from the characters' eyes and from um, from their uh, vantage points as a character. Mm. And uh, he he might disagree with this, but in talking with him about things, that's what I've gathered from Danny's yeah. perspective on things. And it's what's well, a lesson you yeah. learn in the show, yeah. like in season one, like things that you know Littlefinger says and yeah. and stuff like that, where you know uh, I told you, you yeah. know, trusting not to trust me or whatever, yeah. trusting me yeah, was yeah. the you know smartest thing you'd ever done, right. and you know stuff like that. It's like yeah, you you there's there is purpose beti- behind ninety nine percent of everything that they say. But yeah, and, yeah. He, and, and he but he does this with a lot of things too. Like and we're not gonna talk Avengers, but he 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 when we watched it last night, like some things he predicted based on what he analyzed took place. Some things for Game of Thrones that he's analyzed took place since episode two. Nice. And probably will take place in episode three because he's already thought about the many different routes each character could go. Right. And weighed out probably 
I'm probably giving him way too much credit here, but <laughs> but he weighs the options. He weighs the options for each character. Yeah, you know, and that's just how it's my like Way too much work to yeah. watch a show. <laughs> See, but then I mean, that's, that's like the, it's just the fun of it because they they went ahead and put in the effort to like make that an aspect of the show yeah. rather than you know your uh, your criminal minds or like yeah. something yeah. like that kind yeah. of a TV show, you know? Yeah. Um, all right. So let's, uh, let's, let's go, go ahead and just like start, uh, breaking down the episode here. Um, it opens up, uh, on Jamie's, uh, trial. It mm. seems like it's, you know, pretty much a trial. It's a pretty short one, Yeah. but, yeah. uh, it's pretty intense. Yeah. Um, what did you guys, th- what did you guys think was going to happen when it, when it, ep- the episode opened up on Jamie's face? I thought, I didn't. Okay, yeah. So I thought I thought the worst. I was thinking. Well, I knew his character continues on and probably will help battle and fight, and they'll probably, you know, let him hang out. We're not going to be Facebook friends, but you're allowed to be here, kind of thing, <laughs> you know. But from how quick, like you said, it was quick mm-hmm. and pretty easy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it yeah. was a little easier than I thought. But at the same time, that's the situation we're all in. Mm-hmm. Fuck, he made a quick point, real quick, and. You know what? We need him. Yep. You know, and so and Brian's like, "Hey, hey, hey! I stand, I stand by him." You know, Tyrion, even though he's got some, which we'll get into, uh, stands by him and all that stuff. Uh, he had people speaking for him, and it's just like, "Hey, we don't have time." Yeah. To who's to play who's, court? Who do you think had uh, wh- whose testimony or whose words had the most weight to you know for? Di- to allow Danny to go ahead and just dismiss the matter. Well, oh. I would like to say uh, Brienne, yeah. but it was really Sansa. Think so? so well, it wasn't even a, a, a decision she presented to Danny. Yeah, it was just like, all right. Yeah, it's like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, uh, no, he's yeah, he's good. But, but see, I think that's based off of. Well, she sort of gave her version of it. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Her uh, the three of them seemed like they had sort of equal say but mm. Danny so, was yeah. still you know Danny was waiting for everyone to listen to her and Sansa's like ah right, now we cool yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, and, but it, but it was based off of Brienne though true no Brienne it was Brienne's word but Brienne was pretty much speaking for him but not making the decision it, it yeah. was Sansa's final decision but Brienne yeah. yeah because of the trust in Brienne yes right right uh, it was them which clearly pissed Danny off yeah, and also, John was his mind's not even fucking there. <laughs> like, yeah, like, he's like, just like, like yeah, it's just, tonight's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those moments. Like, John, do you know the answer on the board? <laughs> Were you not paying attention? <laughs> well, come up and try it anyway. <laughs> There's yourself, kind of thing. So, but uh, good opening. Yeah. I was uh, I was relieved because uh, some people speculated online based on the shot when Danny's chastising Tyrion about being a fool, mm-hmm. and they're kind of walking, and she's heading into her chambers. Um, people speculated online because you don't see who's going into the chambers; you just see Tyrion there looking really, you know, sad, and, and uh, Jorah and Varys behind him. They thought that that might have been Jamie being put into a cell. And I was like, I don't want to deal with that shit where somebody lets him out at the last minute. And right. he's like, he's locked in there and doesn't have any conversations with anybody until the battle happens or something. Like, that's what I was a little bit worried was yeah, going to happen. It could have been one of those situations where he's in, a wall gets broke during the fight, and he gets out. Give me a sword! Yeah, God, yeah. God, God. <laughs> like, and then, like, the... He saves one or two of them, and they kind of make that eye contact, that little, okay, approval, let's mm-hmm. go. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but we've seen it before. Yeah. 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 Still saying. So, yeah. fucking That was hands. nice. It was fast. <laughs> it was fast, but logical. I really hope somebody makes him a fucking dragon glass fucking yeah. hand. Yeah. Oh, shit. Like yeah. Drag- <laughs> just, like, just fucking win- just windmilling mothers. Just windmilling. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hope it's like fucking interchangeable. Damn. Damn. Ah, that's just, just hopeful. Just plain tag. It's wishful you're thinking it. on my you're part. It. You're yeah. it. You're yeah. it. Yeah. Get him, a, get him a lighter sword you can wield with one hand. And in the other hand, fucking drag. Yeah. It does look like um in the clip when Brian in the trailer for the next episode when Brian's like stand your ground and he's next to her. Mm-hmm. It looks like he's holding two 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 blades. 
I mean, yeah, might no, have, I could have been. I might have. It might have been like a guy behind him, and right, I, right, right. I was just confused. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it looked like that there were two blades in his hands. You there. know what I think? A brief I, second. I know they want to. I don't know if we're getting into stuff. I'm, I might be jumping ahead, but just just as a pure just joke aspect here, uh, give Bran some uh, dragon glass swords. Fucking spike that bitch out and just wheel him out. Just oh like, shit! Charging. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know when you're pushing a cart real fast. <laughs> yeah, like just do that. And just mow him down. Yeah, he just <laughs> anybody trying gets stuck on the side. Yeah, and, and yeah. you know how they kind of like uh, you know and they're so clever with the music cues and yeah. stuff like that. If there was a subtle jackass hint, like <laughs> you know, in the background <laughs> while they were kind of doing it too during whatever that slow motion part is. <laughs> <laughs> I say you strap. A dragon glass dagger to every raven. <laughs> Just have brand fucking kamikaze dive bomb on them. <laughs> Taking them out. Oh, damn. Right, the joke's over. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I like it, though. Yeah. Yep. I liked it. Uh, okay. So That's why I'm not in charge. <laughs> so this may be a thing. Yeah. Uh, Tyrion, walking on very, very, very thin ice. Yeah. Um, what's... Uh, what do you think happens in this next episode? Do you, does he redeem himself, making a very, very smart decision uh, in in the battle? Do we lose Tyrion in this battle? You know, uh, there's a. <sighs> does he continue to fuck up because we're supposed we're not catching on that that he's his character has changed completely? He wants to battle. He's told not to, but then you see him at the wall looking over, and it's kind of a look like. Am I supposed to just stand here, kind of thing? Yeah, you know, like what's that could be one thought. We don't know the thought. Obviously, it's just where's my place in this? Am I losing my place in this? Mm. Kind mm. of thing, you know. So, is he on thin ice just because of like little like what? Okay, what are the things that he's other than his sister? And like we, everybody knew that she wasn't fucking with him, but he made some pretty bad mistakes uh, in Marine, I believe, over in Essos when uh, Danny had taken off for a while. She left him in charge, mm-hmm. and he made some sort of deal. I can't quite remember all the aspects of it, but he made some d- deals with the people that Danny had, you know, really hated and oh, was, yeah. you know, barely, you know. Uh, agreed to leave alive in the first place, right, right, right. and just before the like the with the harpies or mm-hmm, yeah, and okay. then she ends up coming home to them destroying that city. They were attacking it, yeah. and and um, she ends up having to you know show up with her dragon after she's been gone for like shit. most of the season or something yeah. like that. Then Stop fucking leaving, I yeah, would, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I would say the next memorable one would be when he's second guessing her in front of everybody when it came to the Tullys. Um, when right. when she was sentencing them to death, and the son was like, "Whoa, you got to do me too." Tarleys, Tarleys, Tarleys. Yeah. What are they? Fucking <laughs> Sesame Street Muppets? Uh, I mean, that's oh a street. That's a street close by. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that was that was yeah, bad. Just, yeah. he's he, he's not even waiting. Or hey, can we talk for a minute? It was just like he was saying it right in front of everybody. Yeah. So it mm-hmm. showed that oh, not everyone's agreeing with you. But that's the thing is like you need that nothing. That's the the whole point of the hand is to, true, but to do that, but yeah. more in a counseling type of thing, not in the hey, you shouldn't be a bitch about this. <laughs> yeah, like, right. this is kind of brutal. Yeah. You know, this is this is kind of what bad people do. Yeah, I mean, she's know? very much. I don't know. To me, like, I feel like she's more. She's gonna be more tyrant than than queen. Yeah, yeah. And I understand maybe that's what you have to do at first to like. Do some shit, but right. it's like well, bend the knee. Well, can we get out of the mud first? Yeah. Can you let him walk over? The, no. Psh, psh. A lot of people believe that the you know they they tend to believe that the big twist that mm-hmm. we haven't quite caught on to yet is that she's ultimately the big bad. Do you? Have Sometimes, that, yeah, that's kind of kinda like that's kind of a feeling I'm getting. Like yeah. now, I, don't, I don't know about like the the biggest bad, but she's yeah. very much just like. I mean, she ain't seriously bad. Yeah. She's, she's not. No. Yeah. She's she's not in terms of like uh motivation. But right. the actions are actions still pretty, are pretty horrible. Fucking close. But it's also but then, you know, uh but there's still wartime de- right. decisions. I mean, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Uh, it's not like a Thursday afternoon and she's just like, yeah. ah, <laughs> Peace in the land. Bring yeah. me three. I need to kill something. Like, yeah. yeah, it's not that. She but. doesn't then go back home afterwards. She does stay there and yeah. take over it and yeah. cultivate, you know. 
turn it into something else. Yeah, she's but. like the U.S., like coming in and like freeing people yeah. and doing <laughs> shit. But then like, but then she leaves. Yeah. She's like, all right, guys. At um, the worst time. Right? <laughs> she's like, all right, all right, guys. Uh, I'm going to let you guys self-govern for a little bit. Um, <laughs> I, still the queen. Yeah. But I'm going to take off. You guys got this? And then some shit happens. I'll be back to collect my taxes. It's, yeah. it's like, <laughs> actually, we don't. Nah, you got it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, it's just, um, it's one of those things where she is good, but in, in her travels, she's seen leaders and in a lot of circumstances, uh, like with Kyle Drogo, uh, <laughs> I'm just slaughtering every fucking Well, you're thing. fucking tired, so yeah. I get it. Kyle Drogo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy was great in <laughs> Gendry. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, everyone's been respected but ruthless when they needed to be yeah like hey you i gained respect and as soon as they start to lose it it's just like all right now nah, i gotta, I yeah. gotta be something. <laughs> so she's young she's learning she's learning to lead as she goes and at the same time kind of misusing that power but at the same time it's it's a leader's tool it's a it's a leader's tool like you don't want to be threatening all the time but at the same time you need that hey you know you really should Listen to me. No? All right. Well, I wouldn't necessarily go as far as killing people, but it's just like, you know, I got dragons. You really? Oh, yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> right, look, look. He's ready. I say his name. You're done. Yeah. You're done. I don't want to do that. Don't make me do that. Hey, what? We'll just pretend like you yelled at me a little bit, and we came to an agreement. Okay. And then we're friends. Can the dragon still hear us whispering? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> yeah. just like, okay. Let's just hurry up and end this conversation. Yeah. Just, I respect your <laughs> your words, Tarly. You know what? You would be a great person in my army. You know, why don't you and your men go get some food that we, we brought food, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, but there's, there's ways to do it. Yeah. And I don't know. Fucking... Could have gave him a castle or some shit. <laughs> oh, he already had one. Never mind. Just, yeah. Hey, we won't burn yours. Just yeah. get the fuck out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know, so, anyway. But she's learning. Uh, sometimes you learn the hard way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, I mean, what, she could have just been like, look, what are you, what are you planning on doing? You, you still going to fight me? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, all right, well. I'm gonna fly away now. <laughs> like you know, there's yeah. there's only f- there's forty of you left. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Raise, go ahead, raise your army, buddy. Like yeah. forty of y'all. We got the rest of them now. So yeah, I don't know. Um, where are we at on that one? Uh, yeah, Tyrion. I I don't know what's happening with with yeah. Tyrion. Um. Yeah, it's weird. This episode know. didn't Once quite. Again, uh, I, maybe I should really start to analyze this thing. Well, the, the first episode. Also, I, I, I haven't watched a. Uh, usually, what I do is I watch the episode, uh-huh. and then I go on YouTube, yeah, and I watch like somebody break it down, yeah, like the you know things you missed and da 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 da. And I was like, I should have done that. Yeah. Then that way, that gives me the, that gives me a little bit more perspective on things, and because they you know somebody always does a call back to. Okay, and this is a callback to season three and episode da 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 da. When this happened, and I'm like, oh yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> but I, I didn't do that this episode. No, but yeah, right. Tyrion, oh uh, yeah, thin ice, but I think he'll be fine. Okay, all yeah. right. Yeah, I think uh, overall may not be the hand at the end of the the run, right? But yeah, I do think there was something like Danny would probably yeah. you know really key in on mm-hmm. him mentioning yeah. to the guy Jora or and Varys that you know somebody one of the two of you might be wearing this when this yeah. is all said and done. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just like it, it's even like he may still be part of like the band, but you know, you're you're not the guy booking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not booking the shows. So. Okay. All right. Well hey, uh um Arya, Gendry. Um did you guys think that that was actually going to happen? Because I know that that was, you know, everybody was trying to predict it online, and I really honestly did not think they were going to have time for that I shit. I didn't. Um, I thought they Throw wasted time for I, some fucking. Yeah, I thought I they guess. missed the opportunity in episode one. And I was, I think I made comment of it, even just like the, hey, everyone else has got naked already, but it's season eight. Get fucking naked or get out of the way. Yeah. Um, well, they got fucking naked. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, they, they did. That'll work. Then. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, I. Everyone's been naked now. Yeah, like, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, yeah. Not, I, uh, not you, Arya. You're not the pig. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it's kind of. It's probably the obvious thing to say is that. You yeah, know, it makes sense. She's like, hey, bruh. Uh, so I haven't had this rock. So, 
I've never done the thing, so if you can help me do the thing before we fucking die and shit, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. I hear it's great. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, at the same time, not... I mean, she's a young girl. Mm-hmm. Not... Uh, I understand she wants... If I might die tomorrow, I want this experience. But... I don't think she thought of it all the way. I mean, granted, if she did think of it all the way, if you want to be sore tomorrow, disappointed mm-hmm. slightly, and kind of feel like you know a lot of self doubt, yeah, uh, <laughs> go into war with those thoughts. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that or that or can you go into yeah. war with those thoughts? Yeah, because are you going to be fighting people and going? Do you think he loves me? Oh, like did I mean anything? To Wouldn't him? that suck? Oh man, That's... that wasn't even his first. <laughs> you know, <it's> just... <laughs> Fucking red bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the red woman's still supposed to show back up, and she already wanted to kill that that lady. So, I mean, what... And now she knows that she banged her boy. Or tried to, at least. She probably thinks that they fucked, but mm. they really didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. He he could have cleared that up that, in no, that conversation. No. He wasn't with her. She was just in the room. Right. No. <laughs> no. He did the right thing, because in those situations... That was a trick. That was a trap waiting to happen. Say, like, hey, you're about to get laid, but I'm still going to be petty and bitter about a situation. I'm going to throw some salt up on this fucking Because I'm a fucking girl. Because I'm a girl. And if you say anything fucking about it, you just ruined it. And she's like, I'll, fuck, I'll, I'll die a virgin if you fucking say anything. Wow. <laughs> you know, those women. That's, uh, and any women listening, you, you know, did sir. it. You did it. <laughs> I have too many girlfriends, ex-girlfriends, literally meet on Wednesday nights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you did it too? Mm. He I, fell for it. Wow. But me, I, I have to say something because I think I'm funny. <laughs> well, you, you say the funny things when you get the nervousness. Yeah. And they're not funny to them. Uh, not a little not, bit. Nope. Not, <laughs> not at all. I, it's, every girl, oh my God, Derek, it's so funny. It tires. Yeah. It, you, yeah. You, you say that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so all this talk about safety in the crypts, um, everybody online has you know already given uh, all of their different takes on, mm-hmm. on the matter. I've read a few of them. That's where you spill the hot lava first. You kill everybody in the crypts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, do you think that, I mean, man, do you think that that's just something that it, um, is going to happen? Do you think that they know that... Um, that that's the obvious thing, and and um, the dead are not going to necessarily. <clears throat> do you, do you think that it's the the stuff that you see in the trailer of people freaking out in the within the castle walls? You can mm. you can tell that it's not like it's a few scattered characters. Right. Um, do you think that they're sort of being alerted to something that's happening within the castle walls that they weren't expecting, um, or do you think that that's uh, shots of of people just breaching? Uh, the castle walls. That's a good question. I didn't really think about it. Hmm. Yeah, neither did I. Okay. Um, I'll have to, now uh, that you pose it, I know. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I will get back to you, but probably on a personal. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? We're gonna take a little break here. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna watch something and we'll get back. To you. No. Um, Let's per, pause. Yeah. Personally, conversation. I'll get back to you on that. But yeah, um, not too sure. I didn't think, that, dude. And a lot of people go into this a lot like like um, introduce things you don't really think about um one uh some aren't thinking enough in my opinion yeah like a lot of people think uh, or i wouldn't say a lot but one person i read and some people were commenting on it uh that they're while they're in there they're just gonna raise the rise from the grips and it's like well doesn't one of the generals have to go in there and make them wake them up I thought that was the thing. I don't think I didn't think they just just right. So that yeah, that is it's the not weird like the Walking Dead. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. And and also it, it depends on whether or not you also believe. It depends on wh- whether or not you think the Night King's there because yeah. a lot of people right. those opinions vary a lot too. So he he would is it have only to the Night King. Does the can the generals do it? Well, we I don't think we know. We well, I think seen I think so because they remember they said that uh, they killed one. If you kill, yeah, yeah, you kill one of them, then anybody under them will fall. Absolutely, yeah. But so, I don't know if they can necessarily like say from a distance. No, I don't think like they, the way that the say at Hard Home, the episode Hard Home, where Night King just walks up 
you know, and he's sta- giving John that stare down. Yeah. yeah. And he just does this. That he lifts his hands up, and everybody, yeah. you know, rises. All the data rises. Yeah. yeah. You're asking, like, can the generals also do, do that, they, or yeah. do they need to nest actually, like, um, do they need to be in touch his... them or yeah. or be and, in the room? And yeah. Are they going to go like open the crypts and go like, ah, right, well, that one right. is missing a leg, so no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. The ants. Yeah. That that's interesting. Yeah. That one looks a little cocky. Yeah, you know, like he died smuggling. Nah, fuck that guy. He doesn't mm. he can stay dead. You I know? think that people uh, are uh, inclined to believe that kind of stuff because we know that uh, the show is starting to uh, make a shift towards the fantasy epic um, genre mm-hmm. uh, as opposed to you know the political drama that it was in the first few seasons. And we also know that George R.R. Yeah. R. Martin... Uh, wrote all of this as sort of a response to what he didn't agree with in the Lord of the Rings. Um, hmm? That's that's what a lot of Game of Thrones was. Was George R. R. Martin read Lord of the Rings right. and and or and when he got to the end of it, he was like he wasn't satisfied. He was like, what what happens next? Like, how do they how do they gain control over all of these kingdoms after right, all right. of this and all this kind of stuff? Like, it can't be that easy. It's not just over, you know? Gotcha. And, and that's what inspired him to start writing all of that. Oh, uh-huh. And um, and so uh, I think that a lot of people are trying to guess, like, you know, all of these armies are still converging, like the end of The Lord of the Rings, where right. it was, you know, all of these, you know, these war elephants and, uh, you know, and then and then this ghost army appears at the end yeah. of the day and, and all this stuff. So I think I think that might, in my opinion, that's why people are inclined to believe that that's what's going to happen. I don't, based on what Game of Thrones has done so far, yeah. which it does not... Tell, if tell me if I'm wrong, they don't have. There's no ghosts, like actual ghostly f- apparitions no, or no. anything in the show that that ever appear. Correct. There was the Red Witch had a yes, but that's, that's true. Z-Bentrum. You are right. Oh shit. Spectrum. Okay, yeah, yeah, that is true. Um, oh shit, I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, well, so that happened and left quick. Yeah, and and it was different magic. Yeah. Um, and mm. so I don't think that I would really want to see a bunch of ghostly figures come out of the crypts and, like, help people in that sense. But there's also, in the books, there's a lot of hints towards that being a possibility um, because of the idea that um, there's reasoning behind why they're all uh, buried with iron swords um, locked into their, their crypts. It's to keep the vengeful spirits like from being able to break out. So in the books, they talk about it. No. And so that's another reason why people are wondering if they'll introduce it. But if they did, I, I wonder if I it'd it's be a cheesy. Little, it's a little late. I yeah. Think the story. Oh, by the way, and ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody we- posed like a positive spin on, on it, though, because mm. the theory had already been out there for a while, that... Well, maybe they'll they'll be uh, they'll be uh, fighting for like, Winterfell like though, yeah, uncorruptible. Possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. That that I. It's interesting. Uh, I just I, I don't know that I would want to still late. Yeah, yeah. I still don't yeah. want yeah. it. Just, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, you're gonna have ghosts. Like, I don't want them to be like getting their asses kicked, and then the Night King does this and raises his arms, yeah. and then all the like the dead Winterfell wake up and go. Holy shit, we gotta help! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then they gotta break out of everything, like yeah, pfft, like a bunch of Hulk Buster, like yeah. you know, yeah. type stuff. And Ned, it's like eh, Ned's ghost that's... wakes up. Rob, I left you in charge. Yeah, Rob's ghost shows up. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> who's in charge now? You know, and just you know, ah, uh, does he jump. does he wake up with no head? You got yeah. the you got the wolf you ghost. He just zonks. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's too much. We don't need that. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So. uh in that same trailer that I was referencing, uh, Arya is running from something. She's yeah. got a little bit of blood on her forehead, and she seems to no longer have this custom weapon that Gendry made for her. Um, we do see a shot of her using it, mm-hmm. seemingly like moments prior. Um, she's just ma- spinning around with it. We don't see who she's using it against. No. Um, or maybe she's just like testing it out. Or Oh, no, she's already got it. Yeah, it seems to be in during the bat. Like, right, right, right. yeah, because okay. I mean, it's all yeah. And um, so uh, I have a the a question that I wrote down here is who will she use her custom weapon against, or what's her dead guys? Her, yeah, <laughs> but what's her big uh, 
scene going to be? Yeah. What's her big moment going to be where Some, she uh, uses and loses that thing? Uh, oh, man. Good. I don't know. She Is, is there a, anybody there on her list? She got a little bold for her britches. Yeah. Made me made a move. Didn't quite work out. We got to back up and recover. I don't know. There's a lot of secret passageways True. in Winterfell she would know about them. Um, yeah. that the dead could be coming in through, maybe. Maybe she has a showdown with White Walkers just right there in that little yeah. vicinity right there amongst the, the crypts. I don't know if she's in the crypts in that shot, but she's what? like got to be near them. All right, so you bring that up, and my immediate thought is, how would they know? How would who know? The dead. About the... the um, like passages. Yeah, that's a good question. Like, if they're just walking up on the spot, like, if nobody's done... It just what depends on what the Night King knows. Yeah, yeah. And, I'm like, what dead dude has done recon? Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, guys, I'm going to go and do some recon. Yeah. And he's just slowly crawling around. Like, <laughs> well, there's does, a hole here. <laughs> does does he gain knowledge from the dead that have fallen that he raised? That's a good question. Oh, does man. he see... Does he know everything that Bran is, like, aware of? Because he's got him marked. Mm. You know? Yeah. Well, that there's weirded also me the theory that... If I'm not... If I read it correctly, if I'm not mistaken, there's theory that he is a Stark himself. Yeah. And did he know about him? Yeah. Yeah, there's a theory. I mean, there's a theory that he, it, that Bran is the Night King, and there's we're going to figure that out in some kind of time warp travel uh, element. But the Crow was the Night King? Uh, yeah, that Bran, that the... Or the Three-Eyed Raven. Three Sorry, Raven the kid, yeah. <laughs> that works. Yeah, I mean, not if you're, not if you're Jason Lee, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> or Stain. Good God. Stain from WCW. There you, you go. You that, could that say what you want about Ned Stark. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but... Okay, so I, I remember the, the... Fuck, I really wish I had kind of gone back and watched this again. Night King was... Was he originally just a man, right? And yeah. then he got formed by the original... People or some shit the like that. The children of the forest. Children of the forest. They were at war with the the first men. The the first men that had came over from, and I don't quite remember where they'd come over from, but yeah. the first men had come over uh, to Westeros. They mm-hmm. were at war with them. They created the White Walkers to kill off all the men, but then eventually the children of the forest and the first men met you know reached yeah. their packs and everything. uh we and they're fucked like, up guys yeah <laughs> um so we're cool now right oh right on um hey so uh you guys haven't ran into any of those like <laughs> super pale like uh long Dudes hair with the, uh, uh, cra- look real cold craster's yeah. oh no you, <laughs> have, you, you haven't okay well, just in case you do don't tell the three eye raven yeah <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be pale yeah and he might blame you because <laughs> you were there yep no uh, it's, there's so many ways this can go and it's just, it's almost mind boggling to even, even to really pinpoint a more plausible thing. Like, but Danny probably would know, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he would definitely yeah. know, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know. I think Danny hears the theory and he goes, yep. You know, but, uh, it's, if he was a Stark or if he is Bran in the future or the past or the now or the pff, tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, uh, that would be fucking nuts. Yeah, I don't know how... I don't I don't know that I would want to see that, yeah. you know, unfold that way. We've seen... I mean, they chose to show us mm-hmm. the, the moment when they turned this guy into the Night King. Right. Um, it, it doesn't look like Bran. Yeah. No. And, some, wasn't he like a ginger? <laughs> Uh, it looks like... Yeah, sort of. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, true. I mean, he now looks like Darth Maul meets Thanos. Yes, but, yeah. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know who... I couldn't even guess who mm. he is or where he, where the story's going. All I do know... So there's four episodes left. Yes, yeah. Oh, and by the way... Mm-hmm. And Danny, I really hope you listen to this. And if not, I'll tell you in person. Fuck you, I watched the beginning intro. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, what'd you think? I Very uh, different, right? It's very different. Also, uh, immediately rushing to my head was you was when Jay brought up the, someone he was talking to that it's from the... It's the oh, it wasn't the I, Night King's... Yeah, it was somebody on, you know, on, yeah, that, on YouTube you, that brought you that brought up. up yeah. That, yeah, you brought up that you listened to, uh, but that it's his path. Yeah, his, his, it, well, it opens up from his perspective. Perspective, yeah. Yes. But that's, so. I, don't, I don't know if that's the whole thing. 
Yeah. Like, that was just that guy's, like, as we can see, it's coming from this side of the wall, and you see how the the, the snow turns blue. Yeah. So it's, like, from his perspective, right. so far. But, yeah, like, also, up to a point. It yeah. also could be just a reminder. It's like, hey, remember this happened? All yeah. right, well, this is where we're going. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, every you – know? so the, e- e- any episode that's going to be touching on a particular area, yeah. that that – spot will show up in the opening sequence like in the episodes when they went to Dorne and stuff like that then yeah. that's when that would show up in the opening sequence so oh really that's yeah. what happens yeah so like Holy fuck I really don't pay attention so, to anything. <laughs> so like that so it yeah I got yelled at for that be careful <laughs> So you're absolutely right that that's yeah that's the direction it you know normally ends at the wall now it begins at the wall and, right, and right. It, it shows his path um yeah I I think that any kind of weird clues or anything uh, to be gained from that opening sequence though is in that astrolabe I mm. don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but uh, yeah something like sure, that we'll is go with it. those images in there but I I wouldn't be I have no clue I haven't started to speculate on any of that kind of stuff gotcha um, okay so uh, so many characters foreshadowed their own deaths um, but Game of Thrones is not something that adheres to writing cliches or anything yeah, like that, of this, course. Yeah. So uh, how many of those are fake outs? How many of those are going to not they're going to not be fake outs? And that's what the fake out is, is because you think that's too obvious and they are going to actually bite it. I think it's going to be a mixture of the two. Yeah, I think. And there's a reason why there are such good writing cliches is because they help stories move. But at the same time, you don't want to be predictable, so you throw curveballs. Um, curveballs are very nece- uh, necessary to be original or have original character pl- uh, synopsis, plots, paths, decisions. What makes you different than any character we've already seen before? And this show's been great at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, because as soon as you like somebody, he says something or she says something or does something, you're like, what the fuck? You know, like, well, I wasn't expecting that character to do that. Ooh, I like you more. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because... You stepped out the circle. You you were supposed to be this. Mm-hmm. You're you're growing. You didn't stay this the entire time. You the, each character has grown, you know, and that is a curveball. Each each growth, each step they take, take is growth is a curveball. But at the same time, um, there's certain characters to help move a story forward. Mm-hmm. Have to kind of follow. Don't have to. I don't want to say have to, but. Sometimes writers will have them follow a, a certain cliche path to almost make another curveball seem more surprising. Does mm. that make sense? Does yeah. that make, I don't mm. know. So they're like, oh, okay, well, this is going to happen because this person's doing this and you're looking over here, and then boom, over here, story happens. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. What the fiery dragon fuck? You know? yeah. <laughs> so, you know, and I think it's. Wait, do fiery dragons fuck? Uh,. Well, Ooh, I mean, they made eggs. You know, yeah, I know, but these t- these two are brothers and sisters. Well, I don't know. I actually, and they're actually all brothers. They're all boys. So. I didn't even know. Oh, well, <laughs> shit, they're definitely doomed. Then <laughs> I thought one of them was a little lady looking. I wouldn't be surprised if they have some sort of like ability to like sex change or something mm. like yeah. that. They're just like, asexuals. Isn't that a thing in some lizards or something like that? You know what? Sure. I, we'll I don't it. know. I just usually let them Hashtag live their lives. Science. They let me live there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll have somebody you'll probably have someone comment actually once reptiles, again reptiles blah blah, yeah. blah 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 blah. Well, no comment section. <laughs> specifically so I can avoid that. Yeah. Right. So we can be as uh as ignorant off, as off we please, cliff. really. Yeah, <laughs> off the cuff, I yeah. just have some dragon fire. Fuck, I don't care if I don't give a fuck who's there. Okay, so uh, one specific question, um, or maybe I should save. Actually, I should probably save this one for uh, death predictions here. So I will. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead to my next uh, point. Here is that Tyrion admits uh, he has made a mistake common to clever people by underestimating his opponent. Um, is that a clue? about uh, a mistake that Bran is making in his plans because that that war council scene was it was awesome to see everybody around the table and everything like that but um it did seem like uh, too simple of a plan um and obviously yeah. maybe it doesn't matter that it's too simple of a plan because how convoluted can you really get with mm-hmm. it anyways yeah. um but do you think that 
do you think that the Night King already knows that that's what Bran would is trying to get him to do? It's possible. Uh, how deep can the Night King see into Bran? Though? Well, the thing is, is so there's we don't know why there's such a strong connection there. Bran seemingly in that very scene reveals mm-hmm. um, the Night King's intentions if that really is all his intentions are, um, I, I which, which was to bring in this endless night and ah, to yeah, kill yeah. Bran because he is this world's memories. He's, he's the yeah. history book. Got it. And so, um, but... Flip your burn to chapter four, page 32. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, but, uh, yeah, so... But is he already off to do something else instead, like maybe destroying the Citadel, um, maybe destroying King's Landing? I know that that's a huge uh, Mm -hmm. theory out there is that he's going to destroy King's Landing and the majority of the people that die uh, during that process will. (laughs) Here comes your army. Just on the other side. (laughs) Yeah. uh, So what do you guys think? Um. Oh, wait, I, I, King's I, Landing is south, right? Yeah, yes. very, very south. Um, uh, it if I have a map, yeah. I didn't bring a whole thing. Like, like I said, I did not a printout, but I actually screenshotted a map there so you I go. can show you. Because I'm thinking, like, it would make sense. Like, if they're up north, right? And if if I were a tactician and you had those abilities, yeah, let's go up there. Let's, let, yeah, you guys go this way. Yeah, I'm gonna take a, a few hundred thousand with me this direction yeah we're gonna kill a bunch of motherfuckers on the way down mm-hmm. and we're just gonna cut them off and we're gonna come we're, you got attacked from the north and then i'm gonna bring a whole army of motherfuckers from the south right so they try to if anybody tries to break out of there in winterfell right or no where they at they're up in winterfell right now yeah and so if anybody tries to leave winterfell yeah they're gonna run into a whole fucking blockade of just dead motherfuckers i just yep. texted it to both of you but yeah it's uh oh, nice. winterfell is Quite up north compared to it, uh, but yeah, okay. it's almost has like a almost kind of like peninsula pinch off. Um, they refer to it as the neck here in the mountain. Yeah, uh, and that's map. a big deal. That spot, the neck. Um, there's a, a, a scene in season seven um, when we're first watching that map being painted on the floor mm-hmm. in King's Landing, and Cersei is standing right there on the neck. Okay. A lot of people thought that that was like a really big uh, clue, something we should be paying attention to, that she was standing on the neck during the conversation that she had with Jamie there. Yeah. Um, and I can't quite remember everything that they discussed in that conversation. Um, uh, it, I haven't watched, rewatched that stuff in a little bit. But um, but yeah, the the... It's if you're looking at it, King's Landing is in the orange part. It's an interesting the, the idea, reddish orange, the reddish orange. But mm-hmm. if if the like, they are playing around enough with the the timing stuff, how long it takes to get to here and there, that I guess they could get away with that. But I I would say I would argue that five years ago, uh, that that wouldn't have been possible. To, to try it to do that it would just mm-hmm. you uh, the idea that they would just magically meet up in this one uh spot uh, you know uh, um almost like it's part of some prophecy but that that isn't part okay. of any prophecy in the show you know what i mean um yeah. because because they're going to be running away from something desperately the these last remaining survivors if somebody's running from winterfell right and right. then this entire city of zombies is going to march as slowly as these other fuckers that took eight years to get on the other side of that wall. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't. And I also, it, I also am not sure that I would, I'm not sure that I can picture an enjoyable sequence where like a million people all die from a dragon. Like I'm going to watch like, just dragon fire for four and a half minutes. And everybody's <laughs> and every just buildings are toppling on everybody, just screaming, and that's yeah. it. And then whatever's right. left just rises and marches. They already have the golden company, 
they've already decided to put into the dialogue that they have more than enough fighting men right, right. to destroy what's left. So from an audience standpoint, mm. it doesn't raise the stakes to me to like, oh, now all of the fucking hobos and Flea Bottom are also <laughs> on board with like, they're also going to try and tear Jon Snow up. Like, right, right, right. I, that doesn't raise the stakes to me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Also, if he goes through and burns everybody, we were talking about this, like, how does he not... Does does drag the dead dragon fire not burn nearly as bad because the other people were turned to ashes? Yes, even if un, even if uh, to me it's like even if you buy into that theory, you have to be also suggesting that okay, so then it's really gonna out of all that million people who really end up with like three hundred thousand who only died not from the fire, right, right. Yeah. but from other injuries sustained yeah. from. Fire you doing got, stuff. You got, you, got of, like, you got a bunch of crawlies. <laughs> you got a, pe- a bunch of like. You have to put that burn to low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're not ash. <laughs> like fucking find the tie or the, or the scale that has that uh, fucking setting. Right, yeah. Right. But it, it's just, I, I, yes, we've been hinted at it. There's been little clues that that might happen. Yeah. But how is it? Would it play out? to be beneficial for the dead. Yeah, in my opinion. Or just even uh, as a just as an audience member yeah. watching that, I just don't know that that would be like super awesome. Yeah, I know yeah. that there is visions that that Danny's had and I think maybe even another character, maybe even Brand seen it. Mm-hmm. Um I know that there are visions of uh the um the uh Iron Throne and everything around it you know, destroyed Mm -hmm. and snow is falling and it's all burnt up to shit. Um, I know that, but I, I just, I just don't know that I would want to see. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and I know Cersei thinks that, well, we'll handle whatever's left if they kill a bunch of people. Well, also if they die, then that's just, they just reinforced their, their own army. Yeah. You know what I do like about, um, and they won't have the dragon glass. So eventually they're all just getting worn down really. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, though they may hit hard, but they're not dead. They're gonna get tired. They're like like uh, our enemy doesn't tire. Yeah, they don't get hungry. Yeah, they don't get horny. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> which is the, really sad. Yeah, so nah, yeah. I don't want to see no dead fucking. Yeah, nah. no, no, yeah. no, no. Somebody, somebody. Uh, you don't watch Pornhub said on online. Time. <laughs> what? Oh no, I'm just God. kidding. No one does. No one does that here. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, somebody said online that they they really want to see some moment where like uh, one of our characters gets reanimated as a white, but we see them still have like a reaction, like as if they're still partially human. And I think that would be the worst thing to do because then it kind of. You're either dead or you're dead. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I don't want it to be like a spell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, that's what do you mean, point. like a reaction? Well, it's like, like, uh, like, like a, maybe a hesitation to killing somebody. Yeah. Or like, like something a, like that. Or, and I'm like, fuck no. Or maybe it's like, please yeah, don't do yeah. that. <laughs> like, if, like, if Tormund got turned right. and someone started fighting Brienne, he's just like, he fights them first, then goes, ah, fuck, I'm on their side. No, kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you don't want, you don't want that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if anything, I'd just be like, make sure to cut my legs and head off. <laughs> you see me fall, fucking sushi this shit, you know. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, want, that I, I don't want that either. Yeah. I think yeah. it's a solid, solid defensive yeah. counter to it. Yeah. Uh, but what? I, uh, real quick, the, the uh, one thing that I do like about um, the idea of the Night King attacking King's Landing is I like this part of the uh, prophecy that was spoken to her that um, that the the Valonqu- the Valonquar, uh I can't remember the exact phrasing but th- th- will wrap their hands around your pale white throat mm. and choke the life from you right or choke the life from your pale white throat. So if her if she's already has a pale white throat and then she's choked to death, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, is that a clue that she's killed and then you know comes back as a as a 
sort mm-hmm. of a, yeah. a knight's queen kind of a thing. Like that's like the big like I think that's the most like she just tin foily uh, sort of um, theory that I do like to cat- get on board with because I don't like most of the other ones, right. but I kind of like that one just because of the pale ri- white throat yeah. part where I'm like, ooh, yeah. that would be cool. But aren't they just all just really like fair skin from which she's from? Is yeah, that that, they, that's true. Yeah, she. I mean, she ain't. I mean, they real light up there. Yeah, where's she from again? Um, where are they? Or no, where's she from? Um, Lannisport. All right. So, it, uh, I got the map. Hold on. Westeros. I mean, or just yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whiteville. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So. Uh, so yeah, we'll just figure it out. We'll yeah. find out what happens, I guess. Obviously, yeah. but I'm not sure where he's going to be at Night King. You know, yeah. if he's even going to be there to meet Bran or how that's going to go down. Nah, I don't know. Um, okay, so uh, dude, when Jamie knights Bran, please tell me. I had a smile from you to ear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was help it. Holy uh, shit! I, I may have shed a tear on that one. I did. Yeah. Oh my god. I didn't, but I, I was. I was. In- Immensely happy. Yeah, like, I was just I was incredibly happy for it to happen. Uh, just her disbelief and like, no, nah, I don't. You know, they're her trying to be humble about it, and then like uh, her disbelief that it was even happening. Yeah, Tyrion standing, Tormund's fucking just <laughs> elated. <laughs> yeah, just fucking his, ecstatic. his happiness for her. Yeah, but also just like they didn't. They never saw nightings up there. Like just to see like yeah. their side of things. They're Customs like me, he may not necessarily agree with it. Like he doesn't, I don't think they believe anybody really has to be a knight. But at right, the same time, yeah. like he knows that she's happy, and it's just like this is a sight to see. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then just like also the the older gentleman kind of just looking, going, "Okay, well, this is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, it's cool for her, good for her. Yeah, and yeah, it's <laughs> she's like women can't be knights. She's like." Fuck, they can't. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Watch me overuse my power right now. <laughs> <laughs> and they named the episode, you know, after a yeah. Night of the Seven, Seven Kingdoms. Kingdoms. Yep. Um, and so I, I don't know if that means it's it has, you know, that it Brienne's think, scene holds more weight than other scenes necessarily in that episode. But I, I do. It was my favorite. I think, I think it's a very heavy scene. Yeah. Uh, not only do we have. So many people from all over the story that we have conjugating, eat, drinking wine together. Mm-hmm. People that have hated each other, they fought against each other. People that were born on other ends, didn't even know someone like them even existed. Yeah, together, all about to do the same thing, come together to really branch out. And for Jamie, who's not really wanted there. You know, like someone who's maybe the baddest of them all compared to the rest. You know, like, well, you kind of suck the most, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to go, no, I'm going to knight you in this army. And not not in the sake of uh, King's Landing, not for the Lannisters. No, no, you are just a knight and let's do this. Like, like yeah. you're a knight of us almost, like it's of the seven kingdoms. And there's people from all over the seven kingdoms sitting in this room. Yeah. And so you're not anybody... Specific, you're all of us. Yeah, and I thought that was very heavy. Yeah, that was and, huge. Yeah, and yeah, I think that, and, and I think that's when even Tyrion was like, "Oh shit!" And yeah, like stood up, and then the rest of them like, "Oh my god, yeah, this is this is actually a really big deal." Like, yeah, we're witnessing this. Yep, didn't pick up any of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was well, like, did "Cool, think? she could be a knight." Yeah, yeah. right on. <laughs> look at her. Look at old boy over there just being all happy for her and shit. Do but you yeah. think yeah. that it gives- I, I enjoyed just. That scene was really great. I enjoyed that scene, but I just really enjoyed them just sitting around the fucking fire. No, yeah. that was no, that was excellent. That room, just them coming together, like you said, there's people from all over. And what was Tyrion's line? Like, like imagine at some point where he's like, "All of us here have tried to kill the Starks. Yeah, I have something against the Starks. Almost, most yeah. all of us have, have fought there. the Starks at one point or another." And, and he's right. I mean, and now we're all here to defend it. Yeah, to defend, you know, defend our home. Yeah, and it's just like that to me was like, like, yeah, that's. That's pretty and, cool. And if yeah. you if you really think about it too, um, each person in that room has lived up to their own standard of what they wanted for themselves. Everyone's reached that this is who I am. Moment. Yeah. Brienne wanted to be a knight. She wanted to be recognized for her her strength, her bravery, her courage, all that stuff. And she hadn't reached that yet. She hasn't reached that where 
I want to be. And Jamie gave it to her. Yeah. And that's the night before we might all die. Mm-hmm. It's like, you, you out of all of us deserve it kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Was, so it's just, she finally is now, now we are all ready. We, like if there's anybody true of virtue in this room, it's yeah. definitely you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've all done some shit. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> We've all done some shit. You, you've killed people, but for... You know, yeah. heroic reasons where in your person of honor, your person of your word, but at the same time, it's like, why should we all fall tomorrow and you not get your brightest moment in life? Yeah. You know, you, what you've always wanted. You know? So, you know, let's say that we run into a situation where, um, Bran, you know, is is killed, and mm. it, it looks like the storyline. Let's going. hope so. Like yeah. this, <laughs> this guy, he's just whew. Well, a second ago you wanted to make him a power wheel with gl- dragon. <laughs> yeah, but as, yeah, as, as, as a suicide but bomber, also, sort of, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, but if he, anyone's getting attacked, I'm the motherfucker <laughs> pushing him. Yeah, protected by all the dragons. So we're just yeah. gonna strap him with some some Greek fire and <laughs> send him on down the fucking road. <laughs> fucking make some shrapnel out of it, <laughs> you know? But no, yeah, it's. It's one of those things. It's just I, I, I like Bran's character. Holy shit! What if you just kill Bran and then the Night King falls? Well, there's one only one way to find out. Would that be hilarious? <laughs> Bran, roll you over know, here for when a when uh, it was funny when I was, when that scene in the War Council uh, ca- or in around that table mm. uh, was playing out, and they're all trying to figure out what the hell to do, you know, and they're all like, oh, you know, uh, uh, we can't beat him on a straight in a straight fight, blah blah blah. We gotta like you know do this and that, and then. Bran just goes like, he'll come, f- he'll, he, he'll come yes he me. will, he'll come for me. And then everybody kind of just turns around and I just, I was like, I was, it was lucky for Bran that it, the next thing out of his mouth was to sacrifice himself because right. I was like, that's going to be the first thing that probably went through poor John's mind. Like, wait a minute, all of this is, wait, all of this is because he's looking for you <laughs> like, like, and he's like and i could just imagine it like cutting next scene to him be like i chose the north <laughs> like you know what i mean the, like the, literally the, the, literally the next scene would just be like bran out there in the cold and the door shut yeah. <laughs> and just, it just he turns around but i was guys, almost i was almost kind of thinking like they're all talking right there and then bran goes like oh did you come for me oh fuck you're here like, yeah. like, like, have you seen that meme oh dude that was so funny uh-uh. just like just like he says something. The fuck are you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking little ninja kid. <laughs> who ruined, Who pushed him in here? Yeah. <laughs> Those wheels don't look big enough for him to just be fucking wheeling himself out. No. Well, it's no. funny. Tyrion even asks him finally in this episode, doesn't he? He goes like, "Do you need help?" And he's just <laughs> like, and he's just, he says no. And I was like, that was your. <laughs> this yeah. is one chance to clear that up. <laughs> like I. Yeah. I'm just saying that that wheelchair looks blocky as shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like someone's like, well, well, "We put fucking carriage wheels on a chair." <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks yeah. like um, that shit has to be pulled by horses. This guy ain't doing it by hand. It looks I like need an look electric at, chair, need to look at it an execution again. chair. Like <laughs> <laughs> it looks, it looks like grandma's chair. Yeah, it looks right. like well, grandma's not using. <laughs> yeah, but like it, it doesn't look comfortable mm-hmm. in the slightest. Thank God he can't feel waist down. Yeah. Is it? Is it's just waist? I don't know if it's like sternum or anything. I know he's got arm and shoulder movement. Yeah, but, but yeah, I, yeah. It, the whole thing is just like, good thing you can't feel your ass, because <laughs> that shit is absolutely uncomfortable. You, it would have gone numb already. You wouldn't have been able to feel it if you could feel it. Yeah, and it still hurts everybody else. That all right, I was it. wrong. The the wheels are big enough for him to kind of push himself around. Oh, okay, no, <laughs> but no, not no, like my head, not are, like huge. No, my head's already gone it, uh, gone and taken it. There's like pow pow power wheels big. All right, yeah, they look pretty thin. He ruined it. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he could, he could probably do something. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, holy it, shit! Do they have to fight fucking Hordor? That's something people are wondering I'm if not, we're I'm not gonna... ready for that. Don't you, you shut your mouth? Sorry, don't ever ring that. <laughs> it's just yeah. It's just uh, what is he gonna do? Open door, open door, open door, open door. I got this. They know me. Open door. No. I, I, I know. Yeah, I just that, yeah. thought the scene of my absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. It was just like fuck you, Hodor. <laughs> we cried for you, and now. Now the one the, the one person that I do want to see as a white uh racist is is that <laughs> Robert Glover guy. 
I want to see a quick shot of him marching with the army of the dead, the guy that ended up uh, not showing up after he gave that epic speech last season. About oh, yeah. The, nope. the freaking Glovers, where he's just like, I, uh, we, it, it's the guy that, uh, we did, followed the stock before. Yep. You know, and just look what happened. Lost brothers, blah, blah. He's like, we all lost brothers, whatever. No, I'm not following the stock again. Mm. It was a way cooler speech than that. Okay. But, <laughs> well, no, yeah, well, there's a speech where he, he begs forgiveness for doing that. Yeah. And, and, and oh, yeah, that's and right. He's all, and then they do the whole King of the North thing again to John. And that, and, and he's he, the one that starts that chant. And then he's just like, so we we're gonna meet him there next Saturday. Fuck no, we're not. Yeah, and he's all like, "I agreed to follow John Snow, King in the North, That's not I mean. yeah. not yeah. guy that you know, whatever the fuck you're, fucking lieutenant now, to, <laughs> to, you know, fucking Queen of Dragons." So yeah, that's. Uh, that's the one guy that I would like to see yeah. uh, like that. But um, <laughs> you were right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Open door, get him. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I hate myself. Open for that. door, get him. Uh, of course, also during that sequence, we got that Jenny song, which I thought was like an amazing song. I've listened to that thing like seven times. Of course, like, you have. Um, on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> no judgment here. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't. I, I watched it one time. Yeah. And then I'm gone. And then I'm. I'm Sorry, guys. I'm not the best at this. There's some, You're not the worst at it, that's for sure. Well, yeah. There's there's some there's some I guess it really was really cool for a lot of book readers because in the book it it's a song that exists right. but um in the book it's just words. It well in the book it's not finished either. Uh-huh. Um the, it was only a couple of lines and they just know that it is this song that um that they think like Rhaegar um, John's actual father sung to Liana um, mm. at, to, for, to get her to fall in love with him in the first place. Got and it. they think that it might hold some clue to the whole prince that was promised uh, prophecy. So you didn't have to listen to the song. However, because I've listened to it several times, I don't really see how there would be clues. Um, it's just a very, very sweet and awesome song. Um, so I don't know about all, all of that, but... Mm. But what yeah, is, what's it again? Um, well, it would be uh, Jenny's song or Jenny of Old Stones um, on YouTube. Um, Florence and the Machine uh, did like the full three and a half minute version of it, all stretched out with all of the the lyrics uh, oh, sure. in there. Um, and I think in the book, it's really only just the first couple lines um, is what it is, but. I think that's about twelve. But is it a? <laughs> it's not a like, copywritten song, right? Oh, I don't know. That might be a copywritten recording. Yeah that that that's the, that's the weird thing about uh, about okay. the this yeah that crap the stupid internet yeah. All right. Oh fuck it! I wanted to listen to the song again and yeah. pick up the clip. Yeah. I mean, if Lady, <laughs> yeah, if Lady Gaga sings the alphabet on a track on an album. That's her version. That's her version of it. We can't play that. Yeah. I mean, and if it takes you longer than twelve seconds to sing the alphabet, Lady Gaga, come on. Gotcha. But you gotta sing like Gaga. Oh no! Oh no! Sing like Gaga. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. I should just want the the Podrick song one. A- oh yeah. C D E E. But um. H I J K L. Yeah. Well, listen to that song again because yeah, there it it there might be some clues there. I don't. I don't really know that there are, but it is, you know, it's just really cool. And in the, um, on the YouTube version, they, uh, the floor, I mean, I'm sorry, the Florence and the Machine version, um, when you get a chance to watch that one, they made like a whole little montage of a lot of clips from the show. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just kind of like this sweet little thing. And I think the reason why I love it so much is because I know I'm going to have such a different feeling about everything after Sunday. Gotcha. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah, yeah. We're going to be saying goodbye very likely to so many people mm-hmm. that uh, I think that's why I just... Holy kinda... shit, because this is episode three, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we only got three more after that. Exactly. Oh, they're a fucker. I, I think with the gathering at the fireplace, I think half of them go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Half of that, obviously not Tyrion, I don't think, unless that's a huge curveball. I don't think Tyrion. I don't think Jamie. Um, but the rest are up for grabs. Really. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess we'll see what the fuck happens. Mm-hmm. 
Um, okay, so John finally dropped that big truth bomb to Danny. Uh, babe, babe, I got something to tell you. Yeah. That was handled kind of awkwardly, I, I thought, yeah. the, the first time I watched it. And, and then... And then some people said that he might have been intentionally trying to gauge what her reaction would be to the news rather than him just trying to spit it out. Mm. Uh, because it was odd that he didn't like make it very clear, like, hey, before you get mad, right. just want to let you know, I still don't want to sit on that fucking thing. Yeah. But I may or may not be uh, actually the last <laughs> yeah. remaining I- true heir to that, that fucking throne. And um, I'm going to figure out a way yeah. to, in the legislation to just pass it on to you. Uh, <laughs> nothing in her reaction. <laughs> nothing in her reaction said, holy fuck, I just. I fuck my nephew. No, I think <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it was like a. I think it was like an eye tweak, and it was just like it was like. Uh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> my throne? You know, but yeah. Like, she was more rumor has it way more concerned about the throne than you know than anything, anything else because she keeps that she holds that look when the horns start blowing. Mm. Yeah, she's now, still taken aback by like it could oh, be. I'm not gonna be fucking what. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be queen. Like, she was... She could not she, believe it as well. And almost mm. like, a, why are you saying this? Yeah. Mm. Why would you think that, you know? you know? Well, I mean, he does explain it. But, you know, it's yeah. still it's still like the, are you trying to piss me off kind of yeah. thing right now? Like, <laughs> really? Tonight? Yeah. Right. right. So, oh, God, I mean, it's our two-week I mean, they anniversary. Do, they do, I do like that they kind of gave... I mean, you know, it was because she was kind of... She brought up, like, oh, yeah... You know, this whole thing about how he raped her. Like, I mean, I did like how there was a good excuse for him to go ahead and go, you know what? Uh, that's not actually the truth, you know? Mm. Um, You're talking about my dad? Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about my mama? <laughs> but, but it just kind of, it was an odd scene. When I rewatched the episode, I was just, I think I was just sort of like, I knew what was about to happen. Those horns were about to blow, and I think I just didn't really care. Mm. I was like, yeah, yeah, we've known for two years. Three years, whatever it's been. Right, like right. we've we've known this. We've just been wondering when you guys were gonna finally talk about you it. You the anti bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay. Um I do have a, a quick update from last week's podcast because I was sort of my nitpick because I loved the the opening episode or the premiere episode, but I thought that they didn't get to spend some time. Uh, that they should have with with some characters, mm. and they totally made up for that on this one because I, I didn't realize that this whole episode was gonna really be that that love letter to everybody right. that I wanted. Okay, so um, I just kind of wanted to clear that up. That it was like, oh yeah, cool. I I was wrong. I <laughs> so you know that was something that you know that will be nice. I think when this is all said and done after six episodes, that you'll realize like um, some things that you're worried about. You know. Your concerns will be, um, yeah, um, vanquished. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, like you said, it was kind of nice to kind of touch back base with, yeah. with some of the characters because, like you said, uh, episode one, uh, Hound and Arya, a little quick this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more, and it. It was a needed touch. Yeah, this one, this one was perfect. That yeah, that, that was what I needed was that yeah. little scene. There. Like this was, just, it was just a lot of like. I mean, what else do you do the night before? You know, like everything's gonna go to shit. Give a yeah. fourteen year old some wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think that that covered it like perfectly. This whole episode covered all of that. Just like people talking, meeting up again, like sharing some sharing moments. Yeah, you know, like things either left unsaid or whatever the <gasps> fuck. You know, I was just thinking about it. Yeah. The hound gave her wine. She had probably a big drink. I think maybe two. Did she probably. take two swigs? And Did then, she? And then she goes after... Uh, He's an enabler. And then he went to Gendry. Gendry. Dude, she's drunk. You have to say no in that moment. Yeah. God damn it. Well, did Gendry know, though? You can smell it on her breath. You didn't give a shit. They're about to die, man. Look, like the girl gets some ass. Yeah. I'm just, well, I mean, yeah, at that point, it's just like, yeah, she's. No, if it's like a Thursday a and he's like sitting there making <laughs> making weapons and she comes in, hey, hey you want some of this? <laughs> then you just be like, mm, maybe after you take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep it off. Let me know what you think. <laughs> yep. Don't drink underage, kids. That's right. Ooh. 
Oh, um, all right. Uh, any other notable moments that I did not touch on myself here? Uh, no, I think we, we hit pretty much the big ones. Yeah. Um, another one, well, um, maybe one we brushed over was when Tyrion made comment of like, you two might have be the hand here pretty soon after all this shit. I'm like, yeah. Who was that? Oh, to? uh, Jorah and, uh, mm. Varys. 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 You know, you pointed out to me, I think actually, uh, that I missed, um, Sansa and Theon. Oh they're, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. they're big thing. When I when I rewatched it a second yeah. time, I caught more of the way that Sansa looks at Theon mm-hmm. in that during Jenny's song. Yeah, the way that she looks at him, she she kind of like it's a powerful scene. Yeah, she's giving him a very very intense look, and um, so I. I don't know how I feel about any <laughs> it, of that shipping nonsense, but yeah. um, there's no time to care about it right now. I'd have to, ain't you know. got no date. What are yeah. they going to do? Yeah, see, a lot of people are like, oh, there's romance. And I think, I, th- I thought for a second that maybe, but really, they, out of everyone, have seen each other at the most vulnerable spots of their their beings. Like, they saw each other at literally their bottoms yeah. and supported each other and helped each other in, in, in sense. Um, I think I was talking to you about it. Um, she sees she's a strong woman, but around him she can be vulnerable and she can be she can let her guard down and relax. There was a, a sigh of relief, and that's why she breaks and cries. And yeah. she's, like, she's happy to see him, but at the same time, he finally sees someone that she he's helped and he can be brave for. Yeah, and it's and I like the way that you, you know, put that. That's and it's good. maybe a bigger brother really respect rather than a love thing it's just yeah I, you make me feel as brave as i should be yeah and you make me want to do more yeah and that's why my big thing yes he wants to come fight with winterfell because that's where he grew up and kind of he's he's half starkish um but really like some of the only people he trusts are there yeah, right he loves his sister but he he fixed that wrong yeah now he's got to go fix some other wrongs yeah and it's He's fully redeemed, redeemed, I think. It's come full circle. Um, Well, another thing came to mind that we didn't discuss either. And you brought that up, which was real good. Real good. It was was real good, Andrew. Oh, yay. Uh, But there was something else, and it's not going to come to me. I don't think so. Well, if it It does come back to you, uh, feel free. Uh, Mm -hmm. Just that that's all good. Let's go ahead and um, oh, got it. Oh, go for it. The Grey Worm kiss. The, the, oh, the, the uh, he had to turn away, like he couldn't even look her in the eyes as he left. They did the passionate kiss and yep. the tear away walk away. Yeah, because he is now feeling in ways he's never done before. Like he even said, "You feel fear." He feels way more than fear now. Mm-hmm. And that's when it's just like, if I don't leave now, I'm not going to. If I look into your eyes, kind of thing. I'm not going to leave. Oh, and man. I have to leave. That's what I'm here for. Oh, man. That's, that's what's great about it because everyone, everyone's had that moment where it's like, if, oh, I hope <laughs> everyone's had that moment where like you didn't do something because the right person looked at you, the right person said something, and it made, you were maybe you were supposed to do something, but you didn't. He's supposed to do something, and he knew if he looked her in her eyes, boom. Yeah. That's what I got from it. Yeah. I thought that was, everyone's like, oh, man, that's, well, they just, they just, he's definitely going to die because of that. Well, he might, he did very much so, but like, I can't believe he would just walk away. Like, no, that was, that was, he had to. Yeah. yeah. He was like, yeah. yo, uh, once this is all done, let's fucking get the fuck out of here and go do some shit. Yeah. yeah. But for right now, bitch, I got to go do this. Yeah. And if I know if I stay here yeah. two more seconds longer with your ass, we I just going to run I, lo- I love what he says, what they, you know, their exchange too. Mm-hmm. She's just like, my, my people are, you know peaceful we can't we can't defend ourselves and he's just like my people are not peaceful we will protect you <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. and um he's he's a great character i okay so this they actually this are. actually kind of uh leads into death predictions because i think gray worm is the one that's too obvious right like don't you wonder if i guess i kind of feel like i wonder if maybe masande is in more danger than Grey Worm somehow, just 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 as a writing trick. Well, because she yeah. said my people are peaceful. I don't know why. Not necessarily because of that, but I think just because of how clear, uh, clear it is that that Grey Worm is going to go. I think that's the one character in mm-hmm. in the entire thing where I'm trying to 
trying to outthink that one yeah. where I'm like, oh, that one seems too obvious. Why would, okay, I guess, unless you really just, you really just don't want it to, you just really want me to start saying mega buys now. Like, right, you know, right. <laughs> well, there's the, there's the fighters that literally they don't, there's, there is no end. It's, it's, I either, we either win completely mm-hmm. or I die trying. Like, yeah. That's it. There's, there's, that's it. There's, there's, there's no like, well, we'll fall back or like, or, you know, maybe a lot of us will survive. No, it's no, we keep fighting. I mean, that's their mentality. Gray Worm being one of them. Um, Brienne, uh, Jora, uh, Jamie, even at the, Jamie fucking almost went and fucking spear kicked a goddamn dragon. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, God, and, you know, so you, uh, you, but they are showing that these people that are not that way are stepping up. And it's not a matter of like, I like, you know, I, I want to look brave. I want to seem this way. It's like, I have to, mm. this is it. Yeah. Like it's, it's, there's no like, you know, maybe I'll be braver later right. and, and the next, maybe I'll learn to be brave as them to help them eventually someday. The someday is now it's now or never. You got to do it. They're stepping up. And for her to say like, you know, my people are, are peaceful. That could be the setup for the, well, you know, he's doing this for you. What are you going to do? Kind yeah. Of saying, like, and okay. She might realize and like, all right, some shit's going to go down. Fucking grab a sword, start fucking stabbing. Yeah. You never know. And like, cause I do think, I think the walls break. I think shit goes down inside. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, mm. they're, they're going to get overrun. I don't know what's going to be the saving grace to where we just get the sigh of relief afterwards. Cause there usually is one. All right. All right. Cliche wise, yeah. But what did we talk about earlier? It's well, and that's balls. that. Yeah, that's the crazy thing is there's there's not a single shot in the trailer or promo stuff for this season. Mm. There's nothing beyond episode three. You there, you can't you you don't know where they go after this, yeah. or do they stay put? Does the battle is did, are they? Does the next episode is episode four? Or are they still? You know, is it even gonna? Yeah. Is it still even gonna be there? Not even gone yet. If there's only three episodes and you fucking f- f- faked us out, I'm just kidding. Roll credit. That's what I was yeah. so worried about. Yeah. Was like I was like, oh my god, what if that was the big twist? Is like this is the end. Everybody just dies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, well, like I said, there's always like the the sigh of relief. Um, when Jon Snow was up against the army coming against him, he just, or uh, the Battle of the Bastards, you know, and then all of a sudden, yeah, Littlefinger's army shows up, saves the day. Um, Jon Snow, once again, getting his shit in trouble. It's like him and Harry Potter should just be put on a fucking island. <laughs> shit wouldn't be going awry as much because, yeah, he, anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if it weren't for them, none of this would be happening. <laughs> you know, but, uh, uh, they're over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted Jon Snow, and then he came back to life. We're like, well, now we have to come fight him again. <laughs> yeah, um, let's see. Uh, where was it going? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And then they're uh, out trying to get bag himself a dead one, you know? And they're like, oh, D- Danny comes in and saves him the last minute with the dragon, you know, which is his fucking fault. The dragon got killed because he just had to keep fucking walking the opposite direction. Yeah. Let me kill 12 more. Get the fuck on the dragon, John. What yeah. are you doing? Got, oh, lost. Lost the dragon, but okay. Um, moving forward, but yeah, there's just there. I think will be that sigh of relief, at, and then give us time to grieve. Hmm. You know, because yeah. I think I don't. I, if a battle scene's done right, I know we have like an hour and fucking twenty two or whatever it is. Or yeah, and is. we also so we it's eighty two minutes, and we have to consider that last episode we saw nothing of any other locations. All right. So do we get a few minutes? Of King's Landing stuff, you know, at the oh, very least so. in this one. If 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 anything, at the end they hear something. Okay, I, I'm prediction. You know? Yeah, but um, I think if you want a true battle, fucking feel, we don't get the, we'll get maybe the big characters who die like a moment, like a uh, kind of like thing. But then you move on because like it's the battle. Like yeah, in a real battle, you don't get to go. You know, oh Jay, everyone hold time out. Yeah, mm-hmm. time out. Jay got stabbed. I yeah. want to say goodbye. I yeah. got the more, my friend. Yeah, and I know there's there's moments where like you know in movies where like people have come around like like back to back, and then there's one person like rest easy, brother. 
You know, <laughs> like, mm, you know, yeah. but at the same time, like, if you want a true fucking battle, uh, like, go balls to wall battle fucking episode. Like, when Egret dies and he's, like, holding her for that moment while there's, like, everybody's still killing yes, each other exactly. behind him. And it's yes. just, like, you just, they just, I yeah. I could just imagine some people sword yeah. fighting next to them. But like, John does that too often. John does that too often. Like, even the fight before Dan- Danny comes and saves him, he's just like, there's a cliff right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking stare at it. <laughs> Okay, go back. You know, it's just like I, I, I think if you really want a balls to the wall, uh, 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 a saving Private Ryan opening scene, nonstop for this battle. Okay, yeah. I think I think if you want to, if you want us, and then the fucking credits and like happen. Yeah, and all of us just go, what the fuck yeah. just happened? I do want that. I yeah. do think that that would be the best way to to do it, and not like not cut away at the end to like. Yeah. Oh, and then also, what's Cersei and Euron up to yeah. on their third date? You know, like yeah. that's yeah. No, you're, yeah I don't I, need I, any I think, of that. Yeah. yeah. And meanwhile, Euron, you know, it's like and and they and they. I mean, if you're watching these episodes back to back, I mean, they're there. Yeah. They just showed up. I mean, you're not gonna give a yeah. shit about it cutting. You know, imagine you're streaming these episodes back to back, and it cuts yeah. for a minute to something that's happening over in, in you know, in Euron's because yeah, uh, like hood if, and yours. If I were to write it, I think it would be that balls of wall fast movement, whatever. And then the following episode, uh, the survivors fucking have those like almost PTSD fucking flashbacks, yeah. or whatever, and you you see you and, you and you really get to see in those moments. You got to clean up a lot. Quick. Yeah, you got to clean up. Like, all right, war happens. Okay, cool. Now we got three episodes to fucking clear up and yeah. tuck this, you know, tuck all the the nurses' corners and make this bed. Yeah, and, and fucking and famously, um, every the second to last, the penultimate or whatever episode mm-hmm. of every season is always like the most like uh, jaw dropping, right? right, uh, right. Uh, in in Game of Thrones, and so um, like. Yeah, you got to expect that a bunch of stuff's going to happen in season three, and then theoretically, according to their typical formula, then two episodes later, some more crazy shit's going to yeah. be finalized and wrapped yeah. up, and then the final episode will be like the epilogue, reel, really, you know, like, the, mm. okay, and then this is how it, this is where everything started over again, probably, right, right, is what right. they'll end up probably doing. <laughs> uh, Sam went down to the crib, right? No. Yeah, he wanted to go hang out with his lady and the baby. No, I don't believe so. He said he was going to stay and fight. Yeah, he said he was going to stay and fight, and he bumbled around a couple of times, and then like that, one of the last scenes, he's laying in bed with a homegirl and the baby. Yeah, but I don't think he knew that a uh, hoof is a foot. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. before they That's before they got those horn horn blows. Before the horn blows? Yeah. Okay. So that was just him. Because I just figured that nigga was just like, you know yeah. what? I'm just going to be in the way. Yeah, I'm going to stay down I here. was going to come they're and not, fight, but they closed the door. Yeah, they're not all in the crypts yet at that at that okay. point in time. Okay. They're, they're all just spending their last nights together. Yeah. That's when Arya is with Gendry, too, like somewhere, too. So Yeah. Was, yeah. Well, I mean, he, somebody's got to make the weapons, so we got to have him out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, fucking huge distraction, Arya. He's got a job to do. Yeah, get some ass and then yeah. get back to work. How many weapons didn't get made because he was getting? They didn't. Made. Can you that. imagine while they're they like while they're, they're both virgins? They didn't yeah. fight that long. He wasn't a virgin. Oh, all right. Well, she was. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Well, either way, they didn't fight that She's long. She's his number. He's a fourth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, could you imagine it's like showing everybody getting ready for the battle, and there's like a whole chunk of like four thousand dudes that are like, "Where are fucking axes?" Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Gendry was just at it all night, fucking running up. <laughs> Gendry, where are our weapons? <laughs> and where are your clothes? <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Well. Uh. Any like. What do you guys think the closing shots of this episode will be then? I think it's two options. It's one, it's literally just the end of the battle, the sigh of relief and the the moment, just like the <sighs> what credits okay like, like that it, before it starts to set in like what just happened because everyone's going to be fucking amped up, adrenaline running, blah blah blah, and then then before that wind down of who did we lose? Kind yeah, of thing. you know that'll be discussion or. You get that moment, the, the the heavy breathing just finished, and then it cuts maybe to King's Landing, and uh, she, he's like, my queen, there's word. And she just turns around, evil in her wheelie chair, her spinny chair. <laughs> <laughs> and just, holding Sir yeah, Pounce. Yeah, yeah just, just holding her possibly pregnant. <laughs> yeah. 
Tell me. And that's it. And then credits. Oh, I see. So okay. One of those two. Yeah. What do you think? Danny's going to say Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Um, I don't know. Uh, the HBO. <laughs> sh- <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's always a thing. Uh, I think the. I think you get the, the you know, the fight's over. The heavy breathing, like almost relief, but then you get like a. I think you get the, the, the panning over the, the field, you know, and you kind of see who who's out there, you know, and somebody fucking taking a knee, cradling somebody, yeah. okay. you know, and um, and then who is it, you know? Maybe, yeah, yeah. May, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's something like that. And then um, I think something like that. And then maybe, you know, you cut to to where is it? King. King's Landing, where seriously, name are. So you cut to King's Landing and. I think um, I don't know. I still like to think that the Night King won't show up and he's going to yeah, go there maybe, first. Yeah, maybe we see where he's at. Yeah, yeah. At the end of that, yeah. Just like I think yeah, he's like see, I think he's just at the door. He's a fucking Night's Landing King. Night's Landing. He's a King's Landing. And he's just like do do do. Anybody home? Yeah, <laughs> that, that that could be it. He's like you know they're just talking like about it, and then all of a sudden, hey, what's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Credits. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just want the the chick from the from the church to make it. I just want her to be able to walk around and just shame people out there. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I think she's a goner. I think I think mountain panning out. Oh, <laughs> did the mountain kill her? I think the mountain s- split her in half with his. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. He fucked the bitch in the heart. I yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> All right, well, then I want to pan out, and I want the bell to still be there. Then. <laughs> yeah. I just want a bell. Just, ah, well. <laughs> I think that they have to, uh, I think that they'll they'll have to retreat, and I also believe that one of the last, like, uh, I don't know exactly what the last shot will be, but the last decision that they have to make is to, they're going to have to burn their own dead. Mm-hmm. And I think that we'll probably, like, see... I wonder if we'll see like a character being like killed like a like a main character being killed that way like maybe not like like sacrificing themselves uh like maybe Jorah falls like just moments before and we just know like that his body just got burnt like we know that that's like sort of like oh thank god at least he won't be risen as a white you know what I mean like that'll yeah. be the spot in the castle that we see that that you know, I, I hope he's not the example because how do you, you dude you defeat herpes and then you fucking just yeah fall I know to, huh to, like yeah and then you just fall to SARS that's just fucking <laughs> shitty but there's there's a quick <laughs> there's a very very quick the only like shot that uh kind of uh, of him um in, that we haven't seen already in any of the other promo stuff is him on the wall hacking at somebody or something, and um, I hope it's somebody. He's fucking well, just like fuck this, yeah. bench. Well, I don't know if it's, a, but I wonder if it's yeah. one of one of their own guys like starting to come back. Oh, like you know what I mean? Mm. Like, and that's what he's hacking at on the on along the wall there. And he's like kind of by himself, and everything's on fire or whatever around him. It kind of seems like it's towards the end of the battle. Yeah. And so I wonder if he kind of gets left behind, you know, somehow that way. But, that would be yeah. his luck. Yeah. That would be his luck. It sure would. You're just like, hey, have this sword. Bye. <laughs> 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 what, have you anybody seen Jorah? No, he's... Uh, <laughs> no, we got to get going, though. He's good. He's got a sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll catch up. Yeah. Even Danny's like, no, that motherfucker came back like five times. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, 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 he'll be there. Yeah. I, I will it. <laughs> Oh man! Well, I don't know how uh, I don't know how I'm gonna sound on the next one mm. uh, after everything takes place, but um, we'll find out. Find out mm. what what happens in a couple <laughs> nights. <laughs> Andrew, next week. All right, um, I quit everything. Yeah. <laughs> I went uh, off this ride. I'm only here for commitments. Fucking did three. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Fuck it, right? Yeah, yeah it's just like, fuck everything, right? Okay, yeah. cool. So. Oh, cool. So I guess uh, my next three episodes will be about Cersei and Euron. Yeah. Is Jon Snow going to die or Danny? Oh, we killed both? Mm. Yeah. Well, fuck me. <laughs> Bring Westworld back. Yep. Bring Westworld back. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, well, the end of each segment, I'm just throwing my Funko Pops just in the trash. (laughs) (laughs) Goodbye, the hound. (laughs) Goodbye. But yeah, well, we got we got a big one. Yeah, mm, this one's gonna one. be huge. Yeah. All right, well, um, that's, that's what she said. <laughs> Not to me. Yeah, me either. Somebody. <laughs> hey, <laughs> look, well, yeah, the two white guys in the room both made babies, so somebody likes it. Oh, okay. Hey. But yours makes noise when you walk. So, all right, <laughs> we are <laughs> we are excited for the next episode. Slap it Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, well, um, yep. Yeah, peace out. I'm just gonna do a little outro on at the end of this thing. So, um, all right. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on some other things happening on the Exoverse Media website. Some friends of mine in Texas released a new song. Uh, Check out the Final Burial on the Exoverse Media website. Just click on the uh, music tab and uh, select the Final Burial right there. There's links to their uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook pages, and you can stream their new track, Extinction, uh, right there on their page on the Exoverse Media site. You can also check out the Final Burial TX.bandcamp.com for more information on how to follow them and uh, other tracks that are available to stream right there. So go ahead and check them out. Thank you, guys.